Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Tyrant here. Welcome to another Halo Q&A. Despite the fact that I'm not playing Halo today, as you can see, I am playing Marvel's Spider-Man. Just swinging around New York City trying to unlock all the towers. And so, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Our first question comes from Jacob Stubbs. Love that name. Reminds me of Stubbs the Zombie. I don't know if any of you guys have played that, but yes, that is a fun game. And Stubbs asks, Q&A Tyrant. How do you think Halo Infinite story should play out? And do you think this will be or should be the end of Master Chief's journey? I'm kind of hoping so because I feel like this is... Well, first of all, I hope that it's a continuation of Halo 5. I know that it's not a very popular idea, but I, I, it's been five years since Halo 5 Guardians came out. And I'd really like to see how it ends. I'd like to see uh, what happens with Cortana, what happens with the galaxy... And what happens with the Covenant and everything else. So I hope it's a continuation of that, at least to an extent. I know a lot of people have been talking about it being a reboot. And I hope that's not the case. I mean, it's fine to have a soft reboot, I guess. But I'd love to see it just bring a close to everything that we've seen in the Forerunner trilogy so far. So that's my opinion on that. In terms of Master Chief, should it be his final story? It's got to end sometime for Master Chief. I mean at least going forward in time we can always go backwards right we can always explore the master chief and blue team during the events of the human covenant war there's a lot of lore there that i'd love to explore and a lot of fun gameplay elements that i think that they could factor into the series so that's what i'm hoping for and you guys let me know in the comments below what you would like to see out of halo infinite story our next question comes from derek seagal and derek asks how much money would you need to be thrown at you to beat halo 2 lazo without the br Honestly, beating it with the BR would be a chore in and of itself. Heck, even Legendary, Standard Legendary in Halo 2 was a chore in and of itself. Two words, my friend, Jackal Snipers. Um, I would definitely not want to beat it without the Battle Rifle, but I'll, I'll say this. When I reach 100,000 subscribers on this site, I might actually attempt to do at least one mission on Halo 2 Legendary All Skulls On. So... That's a milestone. I don't know how long it would take for me to reach if it ever happens, but if it does, I will do at least one mission, Halo 2 Lasso or Lazo or however you want to pronounce it. So how about that? You guys let me know in the comments below if, if that works for you. Our next question comes from Benj, and Benj asks, Q&A Tyrant, how are you today? And do you have any tips for YouTubers who are just getting started? Well, first of all, I think I don't... Well, thank you for asking. Um, I don't think I have the flu, but I think it's seasonal allergies, if you can't tell by my voice. So uh, that's how I'm feeling today. Uh, in terms of people who are just getting started on YouTube, uh, take your time. You know, there's, there's no rush to the finish line here. Take your time. Have fun with it. Pick a topic that you're passionate about and stick with it. You know, people aren't happy when I post the Strange Adventures of Great Mind the Warlock, or at least they're, they're disinterested in it or uninterested in it uh, as much as my Halo videos. But I don't let that bother me because it's something that I'm passionate about and it's something that I enjoy. Besides, the series finale is going to be on June 4th anyway, in which case I'll be starting a new series, but it won't be in World of Warcraft. So uh, do whatever you're passionate about. Um, I would say definitely uh, know your audience and try your best to do content that's pleasing to them. I know that I just contradicted myself a second there because I, you know, a lot of people on the site want me to do Halo stuff and I'm doing all sorts of stuff. But do something you're passionate about and just try to stick within the rules of the YouTube community. That that would be my my two top tips for you right there. And you guys let me know in the comments below what you think would be what what you think would be sorry my allergies are really getting to me what you think would be a good start for a new youtuber um and again it depends on what you're doing uh if you're if you're doing video games just you know get a good setup going i would recommend if you're doing video games i'd recommend an elgato capture card for sure i've been using mine for years now and it's been absolutely fantastic i recently upgraded to a 4k one but i'm having some trouble getting it to work correctly but, uh, and also decide if you want to do streaming or if you want to do just videos. Because streaming, if you're doing streaming on YouTube, I found that it actually hurts your algorithm a little bit. I'm not really sure why that is. 
but that does seem to be the case. So uh, why don't you let me know in the comment below, comments below what you actually want to do for your YouTube channel, and we can go from there. Our next question comes from Just Vibing. That is a cool name. And Just Vibing asks, All right, Tyrant Q&A, as a content creator, do you find it frustrating with the restrictions that YouTube has been placing on content which can be uploaded? If so, explain why. If not, again, why? Yes and no. I understand it to a point, right? Uh, there, there's certain things out there that people like to cross the line with, and I understand YouTube wanting to put restrictions on that. However, I think there's some ridiculous ones out there. Like, I can't say the name of the virus that's been going around out loud because I'll be demonetized. I actually got caught out for that uh, in my last Q&A video. People wondered why I bleeped it, and it was because I don't want to get demonetized for just mentioning the virus. So... That 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 for sure, I think, is a little bit ridiculous. And uh, to be honest with you, it's not really YouTube's fault. It's actually their advertisers that are causing the issue because big name companies like Verizon, McDonald's, Starbucks, they're the ones that pull their ads from YouTube if they see something that they don't agree with. So it's really YouTube. YouTube's just trying to survive at this point. I don't think it's really YouTube's fault so much as the people who are getting overly sensitive and they don't want to put their ads on videos that contradict their own views, which I understand to a point, but you're not really supposed to be pushing an agenda as a company either. You're supposed to be serving the people. So that that's my personal opinion on it. And you guys let me know in the comments below. I know I say this after every question, but uh, what you think is the worst thing that YouTube has been doing lately? And what do you think that YouTube could do to improve upon it? Our next question comes from Cfunk99. Always good to hear from you, my friend. And Cfunk asks, Q&A, if the Master Chief is put into Smash Brothers, what would his final Smash be? Mm, I would hope for sure it, it, it would either be A, the Energy Sword, or B, the Gravity Hammer. That, I, you know, I've never actually played Smash Brothers, but I've seen it. Uh, now that I have a Nintendo Switch, I can probably play it. Uh, I don't know if I will or not. I, I already own a few different Mario games on there that I haven't already played yet that I still need to play through. Uh, and I plan on doing reviews on them too, so maybe S Smash Brothers will be in that uh, category. But I would definitely say either the Energy Sword or the Gravity Hammer. But you guys let me know what you think. What Master Chief's final Smash should be in Smash Brothers? Should he ever be put in there? And it's possible because Nintendo and Microsoft really aren't rivals as much as Microsoft and Sony. So you never know. And our star question of the week comes from Stacking Benjis. Always asking the great questions, Benji's, and, and Stacking Benji's asks, Hi, MT. You sound a bit like you've got the flu. Hope you stay healthy. Q&A, we've all waited for a new Halo game for many long years, and I'm honestly really impatient already. Do you think the virus situation will affect the release of Halo Infinite and the new console? If so, what do you think the worst case scenario will be? Well... So I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant here. I apologize in advance if I curse at all. Uh, if you're a kid watching this, you probably should turn the video off at this point. But he here's the thing. First of all, I'll, to, to put a direct answer to your question, it is possible that it's going to get delayed. One of the reasons I bought an Xbox One X was because I wasn't sure that the Series X would actually come out this year. We've seen a lot of delays. We've seen you know E3 get canceled. So it's entirely possible that we won't be seeing Halo Infinite this year, depending on whether or not uh, people actually take the quarantine seriously, which I'm going to touch on in a minute. That said, I would think the latest release we would see for it would be 2021 for both the Xbox Series X and the uh, Halo Infinite game. Beyond that, I, I really don't know. Uh, hopefully it'll come out this year, but at the same time, I, I just bought my Xbox One X, so I'm actually, you know, pretty good for a little while. I've got 4K consoles now, you know, between that and my PlayStation 4 Pro. So I, I can afford to wait. If, if need be, I'd rather... The, I, I take the safety of the 343 employees more seriously and more importantly than me sitting down and playing Halo Infinite. Uh, as many of you already know, I already retired from doing Mythic walkthroughs. That doesn't mean I won't do Legendary walkthroughs for Infinite. I'm not really not sure what the setup of the game is going to be like, but uh, either way, I value the safety of the 343 and Microsoft employees, so that to me comes first. If Halo Infinite gets delayed until 2021, that's fine by me. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below, but... 
having said that, as I mentioned, uh, I don't think people are taking this quarantine thing seriously. You know, I, I see people in these stores buying things that aren't essential items. L- let, me, let me paraphrase this for a second, uh, or let me break this down. Essential items are groceries. Essential items are toilet paper, paper towels, soap, that sort of thing. Those are essential items. Toothpaste, deodorant, those are all essential items. Video games are not essential items. Read my lips. They are not essential items. I own all three fucking consoles, and let me tell you something. You can download all the games, most of them anyway. Each of these consoles has a store where you can download the newest and hottest games, and some of them that aren't so new and hot. The only exception that I've had so far is when I purchased Godzilla, and I didn't go to a store to buy that. It's not on the PlayStation uh, Network store anymore, the PSN store, but I'll tell you, I I ordered it anyway, and I didn't buy it from a store. I, that that's what bugs me the most. I, I can sort of understand to a point, you know, people running out of space on their hard drives and wanting to have physical copies instead. But even still, you can just del- look at your own old library and delete games that you haven't played in a while and re-download them later if you want to play them again. That's the way I've been operating for years now. Uh, up until I had an Xbox One X, I only had 500 gigabytes on my hard drive, and like Master Chief Collection is huge in and of itself, not to mention Halo 5 Guardians. And of course, Call of Duty Modern Warfare keeps growing by the day. But that's the way I've been doing it. Uh, you know, I'll play a game, I'll do a review on it, and when a new game comes out that needs space on the hard drive, I will take a game that I've already done a review on and I will remove it from the hard drive. You don't need to go to a store to buy it. It's not an essential item. You don't need to go to the store to buy AirPods, okay? You don't need to. Most of the stuff that I see people going to purchase that isn't essential, you could order off of Amazon. My PlayStation, I ordered during this pandemic. And it, came, it was, not only was it a dollar cheaper than what is sold at some of the stores around here, but I also it only took a week to get to me. I didn't have to have it that day. I didn't need to put the, the people in those stores in danger to buy something that wasn't necessary. I understand people getting bored and restless and whatnot, but the longer you wait, the longer you decide that you don't want to take this quarantine seriously, the worse it's going to be, the longer it's going to take for things to get back to normal, and the more miserable you're going to be in the long run. So please, for the love of God, stay home, wash your hands, only go out for essential items, and... And we should be good in a little while. But that's all I'm asking. That's all that needs to be done here. We don't need to talk about how Halo Infinite could be delayed because we shouldn't be worrying about it if people would be taking this quarantine seriously. But they're not. Please, take the quarantine seriously. Do your part to make this this planet better so we can get past this virus and get back to our own everyday lives. So end rant there. Again, sorry for having to curse, but, you know, it's something that really frustrates the hell out of me. And so I I really hope that people understand that. I hope that people start taking this quarantine seriously. And I hope everyone here in my community stays healthy and safe because I care about you guys and I want you to be okay. So that brings it close to our Q&A this week. If you have any questions that you want me to ask in the next Q&A, don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section below. And I want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your busy day to sit down and watch this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll consider subscribing for more great content right here on the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful week. Stay safe. Wash your hands. I'll catch you all right back here next time. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.